notification or toast, we often need to display into our application a box that says, hey, your action successfully happened. And in this video, I'm going to show you many options to add notification into your Next.js application. But stay until the end, because at the end, I'm going also to talk to you about one of the latest package that came out and which is for me the most impressive and the best on the market right now. All right, so the first option, it's React Toastify. So here we've got an example of what we are looking at. Here, it's basically a box that appears for some time, like let's say three to five seconds. And we've got some text into it. We can have emoji, we can have some colors to say, hey, it's a success or it failed or warning something happened or whatever information. And React Toastify is really successful. We can see here that we got 1 million download uh, this week, more than 1 million, 1.5 actually million. And it's really known. You just have to type yarn hard React Toastify. And then there's just this quick piece of code on your app. You got the function notified and you got the toast container. You got to import the CSS, of course, and the package. This is really nice. The problem here for me is that here there's probably too much style for me. I would have to really work on the style because probably my in my application, I don't want to have such a box like this, uh, such a padding or whatever. It would make really a difference with my style. So React Toastify is the first option where you can go to. There is another one, which is on Material UI, and here we probably got something better. As we can see here, when I click on the button, I have the notification which is here. So here we see that this notification is better than the previous. We just got a text into it and we've got this box here. The problem is I need to install Material UI and to use Material UI in my application. For me, not. It's not useful. So I would erase this option now. The latest option is to create your own Tailwind CSS toast. However, it's probably a bit a waste of time when you want to go fast because you would have to write your own CSS. And here on Flowbyte, we've got an example. Here we've got the notification that appears and we can put our own style. This is very nice. But the thing is that I would have to create my own component. So for me, it's not necessarily a problem to code my own component. But you got to know that it's uh, some time that you got to pass on coding your own component. Recently, we had this package zoner that came out on Twitter. And this is the one I wanted to show you today and that we are going to use in a demo. Zoner, it's an opinionated toast component for React. And we see that it's basically the same here. We got uh, npm install zoner and we got some code. It's really, really easy to use. And then we got this a toast even has been created option and we got the position also which is here and when we click on it we see clearly that we've got a component toast here this which is really simple okay there is almost no design okay there's a bit of shadow but it's really empty and I really see it into my app because right now zoner here is probably the most light uh, package that we've got and also this is the one with the less style so let's just copy paste this let's come back to my app i'm going to stop and i'm going to install zoner in here when it's done i have to restart my application of course and i need to go to my layout so i'm going to come back to my layout and on the top i'm going to import my toast toaster here just down there and here, um, what I'm going to do also is to use my toaster directly into my layout. So I'm going to go down and just after my children, I'm going to use this. Here, I'm going to turn my layout as a client. So I'm going to use the client. And so I'm going to remove this metadata. And there we go. Let's use this package. So on my page, I got a button which is notify me. So I'm going to come back here. I got my notify me. And if I come back here, we can see that the only thing that I got a call is toast from zoner. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to go on the top and I'm going to import toast from, and here I can call my package, which is zoner. And here I'm going to simply call on click. I'm going to call my toast and I'm going to put here my notification. 
okay? Or success. Probably it's better to put success because this is what we want to do. So of course, what I need to do is to use it as a client here. All right, let's test the, the, the notification. If I click here on notify me, we see here this nice notification success that stands for a moment, then nicely disappear. I love it. Okay, let's say that now I want to have some colors and what we can use it's rich colors. So I'm going to get back and I'm going to put rich colors as a uh, as a property in here. I'm going to put toast dot success. I'm going to click and there we go. We got success in here. As you see, the code is really light. It is working. This is perfect. And now I'm going to try with error and I'm going to get back and I click here and we've got an error toast. If I click multiple times on it, we see that we've got this nice animation that is actually showing uh, uh, toasts on top of each other, which I like the most. Now I can put expand true. And if I click, we see here that we've got a list of components uh, that are on the grid just here. Me, I personally, I prefer not to expand. So we've got here all the notification on top of them. And if we wait a little bit, they will all disappear. We saw in this video that we got many options to create notification or toast inside your Next.js application. You can either download a package such as React, Toastify, or Zoner, which is for me the best. Or if you want, you can code your own notification system through Tailwind. The notification, it's a big part of uh, JS applications right now on the market, because we always want to show that there is some dynamism inside our apps. And we always want to talk to the user and say, hey, something wrong happened or hey, it's a success.